Hey guys, welcome to another episode with me, Kevalicious, and today we'll be going over the Lineage 2 server as a whole with the current updates from the beginning, or more so like the updates we'll be talking about today in the video of where the server has started and where it is at today. So just a general overview of like what the changes have been made and what has happened since I've started on this server and what you can expect when you join into, um, on August 1st with the launch, the official launch of L2 Night. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I just wanted to go over on this video to kind of explain and talk about overall what Lineage 2 Night was all about, my story, and kind of just over the overall growth of what I've been doing on the server. So when I very first started, I mean, I was just on Talking Island by myself on an L2 off version of the server, which technically means official. And I was editing it. I was messing with it. I was just having fun. I was just like, listen, I just want to make a private server. Um, and I had all these ideas when I very first designed the server, there were not even quests. There were just, I just couldn't edit them. So what I did was get rid of all the quests. Um, I mainly focused on class designs and the growth aspect of your character. So that meant like, how do you get gear? How do you get levels? How do you get XP, SP, all this stuff? How do you get your skills? And my main focus was just primarily on the RPG aspect of it. Like, what do I want you to do in order to feel like you're achieving something? And what I loved about the first version of my server was that it was primarily focused on grinding and grouping up to go into harder dungeons to farm those dungeons in order to get the items that you need to make the best gear. So at the time, there wasn't even quests. All you had to do was go to the dungeon. You had to have a group. And then you went into that dungeon with your said group and collected those items specifically from that dungeon. When you've gotten enough of those items, you and your group collectively could either share it hoard it for yourself or keep it for the clan and then go back to town and then use all those resources that you get from the dungeon plus out in the other fields in order to combine and create your gear. Well, I really liked it and I think overall people who were playing on the server at the time really enjoyed it as well. I made the solo zones, tough zones, and elite zones and I crafted that from the first version I get my game and I loved it. The solo zones were the basic mats, then you could go to tough zones, which were like an in-between between elite dungeons and solo zones. And in the tough zones, they primarily were focused on crystals and jewelry. So that's where you could go to farm your accessories, or you can get those crystals that you needed to use to craft other goods. So people felt forced to have to go to tough zones as well as group zones. So it was kind of nice because I was able to create a server, a game, primarily focus on the crafting and leveling aspect around the materials that are dropped on what part of the game. Okay, so fast forward a couple more months, like five or six more months, I switched to L2J, which means Java. And in the Java version of the server, I was actually able to start editing quests. This opened up a plethora of other things I could do with the server, and I decided to start working on those quest lines. So when you first enter the game and start from ones to 20, before in the old version of the server, people always complained about the early levels and how boring they were. So one thing that I loved about questing was that it allowed me to give you guys a storyline and just a path line to take in order to feel accomplished and rewarded for leveling those early levels. And honestly, it's really good. I'm really happy with what I've created from 1 to 20. And I honestly want to create that same experience for the rest of the levels until you hit 60. So... I do want to mention that by six, like past 20, the quest line is shortened tremendously. And instead of it being a one-time quest and you get your XP and you move on, it's now repeatables. So it does kind of get a little redundant for now, but I do plan on making additional quests for everywhere when I've gotten more help and more resources to be able to craft a whole new quest lines for like all these different zones, or just when I get more inspired to do it myself. I would love to create just hubs of quest zones that you guys go to that's more normalized in MMORPGs these days so that when you go and do them, you get those rewards and then you can move on to new areas and then continue farming in different areas and still progress while soloing. Albeit, you can still do that now. You can still do that now, but they're going to be a lot less quests from 20 to 60, but they're going to be repeatables that you can continuously doing. Or if you're able to find a group, you'll be able to go quicker by killing raid bosses 
or by going into group dungeons and grinding after you finish your group quest. So there is going to be a group quest in the group zones, but honestly, the fastest way to level at this point, 20 plus, is still the old school way of grouping up, going into those elite dungeons or tough zones, and just grinding. You're going to be able to grind out pretty quickly with XP alone by just doing that. But it's not as strong as it was before because now with the repeatable quest, soloing is much easier and it's not that much slower. It's just you just have to get on and start doing them. Now at level 60, what's really cool in the old version, they didn't have quests. So when they hit 60, their only goal was to go to the dungeons and there was like three or four of them they could go to and farm. And that was it. There were raid bosses in each dungeon that you could get to get special items that you could then make your best top tier gear with, which was pretty cool. But now there are quest lines and there are specific dungeons for those quest lines. Like Tower of Insolence is massive. So that's like three dungeons in one. So there are three quest lines to go to Tower of Insolence once you hit 60 that you can use to start collecting specific material in order to craft B gray gear in the game. Before that, there was the Ant Nest. And even before that was Kruma Tower. So there are definitely really cool dungeons now and at 60 there's ant nest there is tower of insolence and there's going to be future dungeons that will be released which i'm excited to announce here some future plans which i'll get to in just a minute so basically when you hit 60 you have a lot of things a lot more to do so you have a lot of quests that you can complete um, there's a lot of solo quests in order to get bones to get more materials um now there's like b material but you use that material in order to um collect specific material like animal bone iron ore or just other things like that in order to craft so the crafting has expanded and has got a lot bigger but it's still pretty fun and now that there are quest lines for you to do it feels more like a proper mmo when you get into it you can grind out so another really cool thing that the old server didn't have when i first began was really strong pvp stuff like you could still clan battle and you can group battle, which was fun, but there wasn't that much incentive yet. Well, now there are castles out, so you can actually claim a castle to get special like cloak bonuses. Um, there will be a dungeon that is releasing in the future, which is future content that will allow you to farm additional resources to get additional loot that you can use for like bracers, um, talismans and other really cool things in the future. So you're going to definitely want a fortress or a castle in the future. And then as well, there is now Olympiad and Team vs. Team. Team vs. Team and Olympiad are both really good ways. Um, right now, Olympiad doesn't have a way yet, but when you collect those marks that you get from them, you'll be able to exchange it for gear. Right now, Team vs. Team, you can use your marks in order to purchase gear from D grade all the way up to B grade, which is really cool. You won't be able to get the top of the top, but you'll be able to get, en like, to get enough that's leading up to ray bosses where ray bosses are the current top tier. However, when Olympiad, I do plan on releasing hero status equipment that will be as strong as the ray boss gear that you can get if you do Olympiad. So if you're Olympiad and you do that and you do it really well, I do plan on for you guys to get equal amount of gear or the same um, raid version gear, but through Olympiad, which is the arena version of Lineage 2, which is in this current version of the server. So there's a lot of things to do. I just wanted to share you guys a quick video of explaining the past and what is currently happening now in the server and what you can kind of expect. So it's a great time for you if you have a clan, if you have a group of friends, or if it's just you hopping on the server on August 1st to come check it out, join us. It's going to be really fun. There's a lot of noise and buzz going around right now. So if you want to be one of those people or one of those groups that wants to get your head, you know, legs, like a leg front, leg forward. If you want to get a little bit forward in the race to like getting ahead of everybody else, definitely recommend hitting August 1st. If you're, if, they, if you're watching this video past August 1st, I'm going to be honest with you, you'll be okay. This server is not designed for people who are in game to be so powerful that new players cannot catch up. You'll be fine. As long as you start playing the game, you will have ways to catch up and be competitive as long as you put the energy and time in order to level yourself up. Leveling is key. If you can get to 60, you can start working on those quests, their dailies, and then people can sell those items as well for you to quickly catch back up if you want to. There are going to be certain items, though, that you cannot sell to get top tier gear. 
obviously that's going to be given to those who are playing currently but all, everything else before top tier gear you'll be able to catch up through in-game mechanics either through trading through the quest system or other ways so never feel like you can't play the server if it's already been out for a while i can promise you even from year a year or two from now you can still join the server catch back up with your clan your group or whoever you are and have a great time and if you're about to play on august 1st which is happening in a couple days then you're gonna get an early start what can i say you can be the first ca uh, clan to capture that castle so let's see what happens right so before i end this video i'm gonna give you guys a quick synopsis or a quick um overview of what i'm expecting to uh, launch in the future so some future ideas and plans that we have in store is the release of the castle and more castles so dion castle and um gearing castle the fortresses around those castles and then the castle dungeons and fortress dungeons that you can get if you own the castle, which will allow us to give you more additional items like talismans and bracelet items that further increase your character stats by not an insane amount, but you're going to want them, right? Um, it gives you that bit of edge. And then another really cool thing is that I do plan in the future to launch, An um, is it Anthrus? I think it's him. I'm checking in the game right now, which, which location I was thinking about. So yes, I want to I'm going to be introducing the Anthrus Lair and Dragon Valley. So Anthrus Lair and then Anthrus Nest will also be launched about the same time. And what I plan on doing is releasing a long quest chain for level 60s, starting at Dragon Valley that they will have to do and grind out. It's gonna, I expect people to take a couple weeks to do this. Is to grind out Dragon Valley, then into Dragon's Nest, or uh, Anthrus Lair. So, excuse me. So what you plan on doing is there's going to be quest hubs. First will be in Dragon Valley. Then there'll be one in the middle of Dragon Valley. Then it'll be one at the entrance of Anthrus Lair. Another one inside Anthrus Lair. And then probably a last one at the entrance of Anthrus Nest that you will have to continuously um, do the quest for until you get the one at Anthrus Nest and then have to kill Anthrus to complete the final quest, which I plan will be the release of the top tier B grade weapons. Right now there's only low B grade weapons, not the top tier B grade weapons weapons so i do plan releasing anthrus nest along with dragon valley and anthrus lair that will have a really cool quest line for you guys at level 60 to complete in order to get the next tier best b grade weapons in the game so i hope you guys are excited i'm really excited to create these quest chains and just create the area for you guys to just have fun grind it out and see who can be the best get the best gear who can plus 15 that boss b grade weapon and just enjoy the world so if you have any questions guys please check below i do plan on releasing in the next couple days a video on the paladin showcase which i'll be showing here soon and a mate one of the mage classes which are pretty similar and i'll explain in the video how they're a little bit different but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for august 1st first not 11 first <laughs> and are going to see see you there and again if you're watching this video way in the future don't worry, you're not missing anything. Hop on in, enjoy the game. The community is great here and I, we would love to have you. Um, if you have any questions or if you liked what I'm doing and have been following me, please hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube and then check on the descriptions below, make a comment. If you have any questions, like I said, I will be definitely checking them out, answering anything I can. And yeah, if there's anything I missed, let me know down below guys. And I am so happy you're here watching my videos and I wish you best of luck. Good luck in Aiden, guys, and happy farming. Bye.